I don't have the votes to whip you on anything in a fair fight or an unfair fight. So I'm not even going to talk about fairness. That's out the window. We're at the time Often outnumbered, Chambers finds it difficult to advance his own bills and must use every device to promote and protect minority positions and interests. So I had to mess with other people's bills. I had to offer amendments. I had to fight against bills that I did not like. And I had to force them to respect me for what I knew. One way Chambers has made his presence felt is with his extensive knowledge and use of legislative rules. On this proposed rule change and on other things this session, we're going to fight like scorpions in a bottle. I promise you that. Well, he has a reputation as being the most skilled user of legislative rules uh, that exists. Senator Lindsay, I think you've created an unconstitutional scheme here, and it'll be good if it stays in. I'm gonna Ernie's talent, where there was another generally speaking, if you're going to pick a talent of Ernie, he put it where it could do it, and that was in stopping things. In fact, you could be charged with a felony or a misdemeanor, and the court said, no, you can't. You cannot take the same facts and make it either a felony or a misdemeanor. There's another way of stopping, and this is where Ernie is most effective. He might gently, gently point out through analogy, through slow, but simple examples of education of the legislature that this isn't going to do what they want. And so a little amendment here, a little amendment there, a subtle change, that can be far, far more important than saying, I move to kill LB such and such, which he may not have the votes to do. In fact, he wouldn't. I learn very quickly, I'm a quick study. One strategy Chambers has used with great skill in stopping or shaping legislation has been the filibuster. One bill tomorrow. Maybe he slows the process reading. way down. I used Maybe to be crazy on that. My first year was like, what is the point here? You've talked for eight hours. You know, we know, let's vote. I think that's everybody's initial reaction is, hey, I came here to vote. And you've slowed the process down to a standstill. But in the same way that I've done it tonight, I will do it every day for the rest of the session. And if you think I won't hark back to the abortion bills where it was virtually me all day from morning until midnight and said that's what I do, and I promise you that I will do it. We're not there to demand our way. And that's what Senator Chambers will do. And that tactic makes people furious more than anything. Senator Chambers doesn't need the approval of his colleagues. You know, uh, uh, there are a number of legislators who would not be inclined to filibuster because to filibuster might cause them, uh, might cast them in a bad light in the eyes of some of their colleagues, or they might think it would cast them in a bad light in the eyes of some of their colleagues. Senator Chambers is never worried, never worried about what his colleagues might think. If he thinks that to stop a bad measure requires a filibuster, requires uh, an exhaustive use of the rules, a tedious use of the rules, he'll do it.